Hi, my name is Florence and welcome back to my channel, the One More Book Podcast channel. And today I'm doing a bookshelf tour. Uh, I also have a podcast that where I talk about books with my friend. Uh, you can listen to it. I'll link it below. Uh, and um, you can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok where I also share books, what I'm reading and just my thoughts on books. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, comment. Uh, comment anything or just give me a thumbs up in the comments if you don't know what to, what to type here. Yeah? So let's start. This is my TBR. I would say these two are my TBR, future TBRs. So we'll start with, from this side, the book that I'm currently reading, which is um, Facing Mount Kenya by Jomo Kenyatta. And uh, this is a book that talks about the Agikuyu culture, the Agikuyu tribe or community in Kenya. And it's one of the African writers series. Jomo Kenyatta was the first founding father of Kenya, the first uh, president. So currently reading this. And then um, this is also a book that I'm reading. I'm, I was reading it with a TikTok book club. I think we're only doing like four chapters or something. The Kaiser's Holocaust, Germany's Forgotten Genocide uh, by David Olusoga and Kaspar Erickson. So this is also nonfiction. Uh, quite interesting. So I, yeah, two history books uh, at the same time. And then next, a book that I also want to read, hopefully before the end of the year, is Chintu by Jennifer Nansubuga Makumbi. Uh, she's a Ugandan author, Ugandan British. And um, I don't know, I've read The First the first Woman. There's another one, a book that she, uh, is titled The First Woman by her. And everyone told me I have to read Chintu. It's like now the the man version of the first woman. So I'm looking forward to reading this too. Uh, next is uh, a book that I'm also reading. As you can see, there's a bookmark in it, Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Um, and I'm taking my time with this because it's an important read. Uh, next, a book that I want to really read, Dust Child by Nguyen Fan Ku Mai. This was really um, recommended. It's by, a, she's a Vietnamese um, author. Uh, next, it's a um, historical fiction book. This is Changes by Ama Ata Aido. I believe she's Ghanaian and um, it's, one, a book that was recommended as part of the Patriarchy in African Literature series that I've been doing here in literature. So I want to read this too. Um, another book that is also, that I also want to read as part of the Patriarchy series is Nava's Condition by Tsitsi Dangaremba. She's, um, I believe she's Zimbabwean. Uh, highly recommended and it's part of a three book series. Uh, this is the newest book in my collection. Uh, it's James Baldwin Dazeuge, um, Ein Portrait by Rene Aguiga. It's a German, it's in German, and Rene Aguiga is a journalist, and he did a lot of research on James Baldwin. And we went for the book reading, so of course I had to get the book, and I want to read it just to find out more about James Baldwin. Next is a book that I was gifted, uh, Rosewater by Liv Little. And uh, I just picked it up because I, one, I, saw it, I saw one YouTuber talking about it. It's about a young woman just going through life, trying to find herself. And I think it's based, um, the story is based on, or in, in London, in the UK. So I want to read this. Uh, next is this uh, from Mula de Migrantin by Evelyn Waidira Mula. Uh, she's a Kenyan author based in Germany. And she just sent me this book. It just came out. 
and she talks about her life experience living as a migrant in, in Germany. Uh, so I want to read this. Next is, of course, James. Uh, I think everyone knows James. James by Percival Everett. Um, this, I, yeah, this is also new. It won the Booker Prize Award, and um, it's the retelling of the story of Huckleberry Finn, but from the point of view of Jimmy, uh, or as he named him, James. James. So I'm um, interested in reading this. I read Huckleberry Finn when I think I was in primary school. Uh, this I got, uh, it's an advanced copy, advanced reader's copy that I was sent uh, by Canon Gate UK. And it's called The Wardrobe Department by Elaine Garvey. It's coming out in February, 2025. And it's about a woman who works in the wardrobe department of a theater, small theater, and uh, just going through life. I love it because it, it deals with fashion. Um, I love fashion. Uh, next. This is a book that I got from my library, um, The Single Girl's To-Do List by Lindsay Kelk. It's supposed to be a fun read. Uh, a woman who's just, uh, the boyfriend has broken up with her and she just wants to find out how it is to live single. So she has a list for a single girl to-do list. Uh, next is a book that I want to go back to reading. As you can see where my bookmark is. Uh, this is by also uh, an Eritrean author based here in Germany, uh, Bisrat Negasi. It's in German. So it's um, her bio autobiography about her life moving from Eritrea and coming to Germany because of the war. Yeah, she's, she was a refugee. Um, then we go to the next shelf and this is also my tbr uh we have zenzele a letter for my daughter by j nozipo maraire i believe she's a Zim also a zimbabwean author and um yeah it's about motherhood and raising a, a daughter so i'm interested in finding out more about that uh and then we have song of lawino and Song of Occult together uh, by Okot PB Tech. And he's a Ugand he was a Ugandan author, and it's also part of the African Writer series. And it's just a it's uh, basically a poetry book. I want to read this. Uh, next is The Nightingale by Christine Hanna. This is supposed to be a buddy read with a friend of mine in based in Canada. Um, yeah, let's see. She recommended it and also it's, yeah, uh, the name, I like the name. So I want to read it. I'm waiting for her to finally decide on how many chapters we are going to read so we can, yeah, we can start. That's why it's here. Uh, next is, uh, Rootless. This also I got, uh, for my birthday. Um, it's, I believe the writer is Ghanaian. And it's, I think, a, a, sto a love story, a heartbreaking love story. And it's highly recommended. And I love the cover, so I want to read it. Uh, next is a book that was recommended by a friend, Hadija. Uh, and it's River Spirit by Leila Abulela. Um, I believe she's Sudanese. Uh, so I just, I just want to read from her. This will be, I think, the second book that I'm reading from her. Uh, another book that Hadija recommended is A Long Way From Douala by Max Lobe. He is, I believe, a Cameroonian author. I think one of the few Cameroonian authors that I have. And um, I want to find out what it is about. Uh, next is a book, a Caribbean book. Um, I just bought it because people were talking about it. <laughs> And I love the cover, Sweetness in the Skin by Ishi Robinson. Yeah, I want to read it too, hopefully before the end of the year. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Then um, 
this is a book uh, I I met dispatches from the diaspora, uh, from Nelson Mandela to Black Lives Matter. It's a collection of, I believe, interviews by Gary Lounge, Gary Yo, Gary Young. Um, and I, I met him here in Hamburg. He was here for a festival, Black Writers Festival. And I would love to have him on, on the podcast. So I had to get his book first so I can read it and then ask him for an interview. Um, next is um, These Letters End in Tears by Mu, Mushi, Musi, Mushi, Musi, Teji Zev, Xavier. She's a Cameroonian author that I met in Berlin at the African Queer Book Festival. And uh, it's, it follows the story of two women who are in love. So it's a queer, queer love story. And I would really, really love to read it. Um, everyone is saying how heartbreaking it is, so I want to read it. Uh, next, we have The Overstory by Richard Powers. I got this at the as a book swap. Someone I swapped books with someone. And um, it talks, I believe the story, it's a story about the environment and trees and how it affects our lives. And I, I mentioned it in a video. I will link the video somewhere here. Um, I think when I did the video about the hurricane and the effects uh, of climate change and books that could inspire us uh, to fight against climate change. I haven't read it, but I know about it. Uh, next is also a book that I got at the book swap, The Star's Side of Bad Hill. Uh, I believe it's also a Caribbean read. I have no idea what it's about, but I just took it because of the cover. Uh, next is... Um, the 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafak. I love everything that Elif Shafak writes. Uh, and I don't know when I bought this. Hmm. But I want to read it. Uh, it's, it's also, yeah, I need to get into it. Uh, next is Black Butterflies by Priscilla Morris. I believe it's, um, she is a, the story is based in Sarajevo. Uh, so I can't really say exactly which country she's from. Serbia or Sarajevo? I'm not so sure, so I won't say. Uh, but it's a story about, uh, based on the, at the time when there was the, the war uh, in Sarajevo in 1992. And next is, Kim Myung, born 1982 by Sho, Cho Nam Myung, and I believe she's a South Korean author, um, and people raved about it, so it's, I think it's a translated fiction, uh, so I want to read it. Then next, we'll go down here. First and foremost is Anne Frank Tage book. I borrowed this from my daughter. <laughs> uh, they read it in school, and I've never read her her book. I don't know if I will manage or sh I should just get the English version, but I want to um, read about it. her. Um, she was um, one of the victims uh, during the Nazi uh, time, yeah. Uh, so really interested in reading this. But maybe I'll get the English version. Uh, next is, I think we can put it down. Ah, next is this book, um, Mit allem was wir leben, ein Manifest for Radical Transformierende Bewegungen. Uh, and I, I think I bought this uh, from a, a stand at, um, it's just a prospectus in, um, at a book festival. And, um, it's just about activism, intersectionality, uh, community, political, radical, queer, and trans politics. Yeah, it's just like a, yeah, just a book about ideas. 
Next is my brother by Jamaica Kincaid. I love Jamaica Kincaid books. And this book I bought by mistake because I didn't know it was in German. So when it arrived, nah, yeah, I will have to read it. But it's a story, I, I believe it's a, it's nonfiction. So Jamaica Kincaid talks about um, her brother's death. Her brother, I believe her brother died of HIV. So she talks about that. And then next we have Killers of the Flower Moon by David Graham. And this I bought because uh, there's a podcast that's, that I listen to, the Lit Society podcast, and they were reading this. And also I want to read it before I watch the film by Leonardo DiCaprio. And it's a story about exploitation of people, exploitation of indigenous people. Um, the, um, the, how do we call them? The Native Americans when they discovered oil. Uh, so that is interesting for me. Uh, next is a book that I never finished. I DNF'd it. <laughs> it's called, it's, we read it with our book club. It's called Decolonizing Wellness, a cutie BIPOC-centered guide to escape the diet trap, heal yourself, image, and achieve body liberation by Dahlia Kinsley. Um, I read it, I couldn't finish it because it felt like it could have just been a blog post, you know, an article. Um, and most of the things she talked about are things that I've already healed from. So I think um, it's more for a younger person. That's what I think. Will I go back to finish it? Maybe. I, I don't know. I doubt it. Next is uh, from Telavesha to Telavesha um, by Ciani, Ciani, Sophia Hoda. Uh, we went for her book reading. She's a German, half German, half American author. And um, she just, the book talks about classism and how it affects us as a society. And uh, we got it um, autographed. And I'd love to re read it before I invite her to the podcast. Um, next is another recent by Going Down River Road by Major Mwangi. This is by a Kenyan author. And I just want to try and read more books, have more books by Kenyan authors. Um, yeah. I have no idea what it's about, but I know River Road, it's a road in Kenya. And uh, on this road has like bars and brothels and uh, just shady businesses. So it would be an interesting read. Next is One Day by David Nichols. I have no idea what this book is about, but I love the cover and I got it for my birthday. I believe it's a love story. I think. Next is Wandering Souls by Cecile Pin. I believe she's a Chinese um, American author. And I, I got it, I think I got it for my birthday. And um, oh, Chinese or Vietnamese, I'm not so sure. One of the two. And um, I believe it's also a historical fiction. Um, then uh, this, I believe, she's Chinese. Um, Peach Blossom Spring by Melissa Fu. Um, I believe I also got this for my birthday. I have no idea what it's about. Um, but I, maybe historical fiction also. <coughs> yeah, historical fiction also. So I would love to read this too. Next is uh, nonfiction, uh, Share in Verse. Uh, this is like a collection of um, poems by different people uh, talking about che, che Guevara. Che Guevara, he was um, one of the revolutionaries in Chile, in Cuba, in Cuba, yeah. Um, yeah, so I just want to read it. It's just by different people who knew him. Uh, next is I Know Why the Cage Bird, Bird Sings by Maya Angelo. I think this is the only book that I own by Maya Angelo. I don't know what it's about, but Maya Angelo is one of the greatest. So 
uh, I'd love to read it um, as the first book by her. Uh, next, we have Sold uh, by Patricia McCormick. And I believe it's a story about um, a young girl in Nepal who is sold, yeah, actually sold. Um, and I'm really for stories about minority women or just women who go through a lot in life. Um, I just love reading up such stories to just be diverse in also in my thinking. You know, it's the world doesn't revolve around me. Uh, so I, I love reading stories from other people. Uh, this is another nonfiction and autobiography by Sonia Sotomayo, my beloved world. And she was the first Hispanic and third woman appointed to the United States Supreme Court. So I'd love to hear about, yeah, a woman, woman of color doing amazing things. Next is um, a book that I'm looking forward to read. Actually, I want it to go up here. Uh, this is Petals of Blood by Gugi Wathiongo, one of the greatest, greatest authors. Uh, Kenyan has 10 doctorates and one of the greatest fathers of literature. And uh, yeah, I just want to read more of his books. This will be the second book that I'm reading by him. Uh, the other books are on this side. Next uh, is this, um, make, it, make It Yours with Mimi G, A Series Guide to a Custom Wardrobe. This is, um, I love Mimi G, she inspired me to start to do to start my fashion business to start making my own clothes and um yeah i just had to get this book it's um it has like patterns and inspirational stories so look i would love to maybe sit down and make some of this um yeah it's more of a do it yourself book like a guidebook yeah uh, this is uh, The Artist Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity. Um, and someone recommended this. Uh, there's a podcast that I listen to. And she's, she was an artist. She's an artist who felt lost somehow. And she said that this book helped her to find her way back to her creativity. And I have to admit, I, I feel lost in my creativity most of the time. So um, I need. I thought that I needed to get it because it has like, um, you can write in it and uh, write your feelings and practice a bit. So I got it. I haven't sat down with it. Maybe I think I'll do it over over cr the Christmas break. Um, next is a book that I think I got these. Most of my books are secondhand. Um, I just bought it because it was secondhand. I have no idea. It's called You'd Be Home Now. Um, and it's highly rated on Goodreads. And I just thought it to, to be interesting. That's why I got it. Uh, next is um, another book that I just got because I want to diversify my reading. The Absolute True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. And um, it's by a Native American. So, yeah. I believe it's um, nonfiction. Uh, next is a book, um, Traveling While Black and Lesbian by Kanyisa Mnyaka. She's a South African author that I met at the African Book Festival queer edition in Berlin. Uh, she signed it. And she it's, a, of course, nonfiction. She talks about her, how she her experience traveling as a black woman and a lesbian through uh, in different parts of the world. Next is Everyone Has to Be Free, The Development of Black Feminism and the Kombachi River Collective. Uh, this is a collection of different like essays uh, that talk about feminism. Um, very interested in feminism, so I saw it and said, let me get it. And next we have, 
another one on feminism, hood feminism, notes from the women that are movement for God by Mickey Kendall. Also, um, a book on feminism that I just had to get. Uh, next, we have Africa is not a country by Deepo Faloyin, breaking stereotypes of modern Africa. And this book just talks about different countries in Africa. And um, I believe I saw someone on Instagram talking about it, and then I bought it. I haven't gotten time to read it. Next is Not My Daughter uh, by Betty Mahmoudi with William Hofner. And I believe it's a story about uh, a family that um, escapes from Iran. Oh, yeah. So interested in reading this. Um, this is Someday Maybe by Onyi Nuabinelli. This I borrowed from my friend Lily. Um, I have no idea what it's about, but she came with it to our meeting, our book date, and uh, I took it. I believe she's a Nigerian British author. Uh, next is a book that I got on my birthday, The Neighbors and Other Stories by Diane Oliver. It's a collection of short stories, and it's an interesting book because Diane Oliver died really young, I think in her 20s, and like 40 years later, or 30 years later, her, someone was clearing up her belongings and they found a manuscript that she never uh, got published. And this was published like 40 years after her death. So I want to read it. Um, the, the German cover is beautiful. I don't know. I wish I'd gotten the German version, but I'll probably read it in English. She was a bl She's a black author, black American author, or was. Next is a book that I got at the book swap, Nade, which I believe is Grace um, by Toni Morrison. Um, will I ever read this book? I don't know. It's in German and it's Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison is difficult to read, but I just had to take it um, at the book swap. Um, Another book by Toni Morrison, this I will definitely read, is Sula. Um, and uh, of course, she's the winner of the Nobel Prize. So, of course, I want to read it. I've been told that it's really good and it's quite small. So, that I might read in the near future. Next is House of Stone by Novuyo Rosa Chuma. She's a Zimbabwean author, I believe, based in the US. And I met her in Berlin uh, at a book book event. So it's it's autographed, and she's a she writes magical realism is a theme that she loves writing about. So I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, and then next we have Yellow Face by R. F. Kuang, which I think everyone has read apart from me. I believe she's of Chinese uh, descent. And uh, yeah, I just bought it because it was popular. <laughs> so next, I'll try and be a bit faster. Um, this is uh, Kai Kei by Vashnavi Patel. And it's the story, uh, what it, um, it was? Which country is it based on? I believe India. Indian. Um, just one of my diverse books. Uh, looking to read diversely. So I got this. Uh, next we have um, Ruined by Lynn Nottage. And I believe this is based on a story of a young woman who during in, in, in DRC Congo. And of course at the moment we know what is going on in Congo, so in DRC, so I really want to read this. Next is a book that I don't think I will ever read. <laughs> Let me not say that. It's Pieces by Helen Oyeyemi. This was a book club pick that we struggled to read and we gave up. I might go back to it. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, it was just difficult to get into. But people 
really praise her. She's a black British author. Um, a book that I've had for so long. Uh, this is a collection of stories by African women, African women in Europe, a reflection of the strength and positivity of African women in diaspora. Uh, and it's compiled by Joy Sands. And I, I don't know how long I've had this book, but I know most of the authors. And it's uh, also autographed. Yeah, so I'll probably, I would read it maybe. Next is the, All the Lonely People by Mike Gale. Um, as you can see, I read a lot from female authors, but I have also a few male authors. Um, I have no idea what it's about, but someone recommended it to me. Ah, next is Sprake und Sein by Kubra Gumuse. Kubra? Yeah. She's a Turkish German author uh, who we met and yeah, it's signed. We went f for a reading where she was the leading the panel and um, I had to get the book. It's in German, uh, but it talks about I believe it talks about the power of language, the power of language, and especially uh, as a migrant. Next is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I don't know where I got this. I bought this, yes, I bought it years ago. I don't know if I've ever read it, but it's a love story. Next is Zinlisha Vizen by Mina Salami. Um, we met her, we went for an event where she was, uh, a talk that she gave, and I got, we got the book. It's, yeah, autographed. Uh, so I want to read it before I invite her to the podcast. And, surprise, surprise, this is the English version. So this belongs to my friend, Lily. Uh, so I borrowed it because this will be difficult to read. So this is the English version. It's called Sensuous Knowledge, A Black Feminist Approach for Everyone by Mina Salami. Next is An African History of Africa from the Dawn of Humanity to Independence by Zaina Badawi. I believe she's, she's a black British author of um, Somali descent, I believe, or Sudanese. Somalia, I believe. And it's, uh, it's a story. She's a journalist. So she just collected stories that she'd had all over Africa from the beginning until now. Uh, next is one of the greatest, um, Segu by Marise Conde. And this, I believe she's a Senegalese author. She was a Senegalese author. And um, I was told that she inspired so many authors so i had to get it to get one of her books ah this is also a favorite this is made whole by tiffany aliche the bajanista i love tiffany i listen to the podcast brown ambition um she gives amazing tips uh, especially as a black woman when it comes to money this is her second book uh the first book i be and it's autographed the first book, her first book, I think I have on Audible, uh, but I also want to get it. So this is the, yeah, her first book is called Get Good With Money. Yeah. Uh, then we have um, another favorite, um, How to Write About Africa by the late Binyavanga Wainaina. He was also a Kenyan author, a queer author. And um, it's an essay. It was an essay that moved into a book and it's satirical in nature because he's making fun about how uh, palm colored people write about Africa. Yeah. Next is Queenie by Candice Cathy Williams and I believe she's a black British author and um, everyone People are divided about this book. That's why I got it, because I also want to make my decision about it. It's, I believe, about a young woman and the struggles of existing as a black woman in the UK. So I've just realized that the video will be very long. 
um, so far we've done one, two, three, four, five. And I talk a lot. <laughs> That's why I believe, Let, let's do this in parts. So we started with my TBR um, and then moved into other books that I haven't read. So we have one, two, three. Yeah, three and a half of books that I haven't read, three and a half shelves, and one, two, three, four, four, sh four shelves of books that I have read. So I think let's do that in the next, I will, I don't know how long the second video will be. There might be a part three. So let's just say this is part one. Uh, and uh, of course, I'd love to hear from you if you've read any of these books or yeah let me know if you've read any of them or if they've inspired you uh, but just going through this I love just how diverse my reading is I really really uh, hope to read all these books and I am rambling uh, please watch the st uh, stay tuned for part two and of course part three of my bookshelf tour and I think part four, because I also have um, books on Audible. So I'll also do like a, a bookshelf, a digital bookshelf tour of my books. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay reading and uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.